Hey everyone, today I'll be doing Leak Code 1299. I know it's been a while, but uh, yeah, things, you know, they get busy at work and all that. Uh, yeah, whatever. So anyways, this is the uh, easy uh, replace elements, greatest element on the right side. Uh, you're given some array and basically you have to replace each element with the greatest element to the right. And I think it's strictly to the right. Yeah, it is, because if we look at this right here, um, the six is still one because the greatest to its right is one and all of that. So to do this is kind of simple. Uh, we know the output array is gonna be the same length as the array, so we can just get that ready. And let's get our result, right? So these will be the greatest elements for each index to the right. So this is gonna be a new int and same length as array. And we know that we're gonna return it at the end. Um, Okay, cool. So we have our result and then we have to fill it up. So one thing that we should do is because we have this condition, if there is, let's see here, uh, the last element should have negative one, right? So we can just do that kind of like as the, I don't know, just to do this because I'm lazy. Uh, I think this is how you do that. Replace that with negative one. And then what we can do is we can also keep a current max, right? So this will be the current current max here. So we'll go current max is equal to negative one. Okay, so now let's iterate from the right side. And we can do that by going in i is equal to length minus one. And i is greater than zero, i minus minus. And then from here, what we can do is we will set the current element to the current max because the current max is what it currently is on the right side because we're in iterating from the right. So we can go result i is equal to current max. You set it first. The reason why you set it first is because we're not to include this element. So if we were to set the current max before we do this, then we would be including the same element. So we set it first, then we set the new max. So then you can go math.max, current max, and this will get the current max from the right. And then we can go array i. And then I think this is pretty much all we need. And looks like it's good. So yeah, um, kind of a simple one, but uh, like I said, I'm gonna try to do as many as I can. So hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.